I'm standing next to Odyssey Sims, new season. What are you looking forward to the most this time around? Just another, um, well, I'm just excited just for the season to start. Uh, it's been a long time coming, just, you know, being in the off season. But I'm just looking forward to another fun, exciting, winning season. Um, and it starts on Sunday. Yeah, and you have been quoted saying you have unfinished business, obviously, with the finals that happened. Coincidence, I guess, that you're playing Minnesota this weekend. How do you think that win would set the tone for the season for your team? Well, you know, you always want to start the season off with a with a win. Um, you never want to start it off with a with a loss. Um, that game is going to be very tough for us, and it's going to be on the road. So I think as a team, we just have to prepare mentally every day that we have practice this week and gear up and have it lead up into Sunday. Uh, we know it won't be a cakewalk. We know it'll come probably come down to the wire. But um, I think this is a, a big, big challenge for us. This is something we need, um, especially starting off the season. And that, that'll set the tone for us to see where we where we at, where what do we need to improve on or what we need to do do better. And I believe you had your first practice with the team yesterday. Um, how was that whole experience? What do you? What are the vibes that you're getting? The momentum with the new faces on the team. Well, my practice was good. I was tired, but <laughs> I'm okay. Um, just did a lot of resting and everything. But uh, I mean, we got some great players. I'm ready to see what what our roster is going to look like. Um, and like I said, it's ready for a season to start. Health wise, are you good? Do you feel good? Yeah, I'm yeah. fine. I'm healthy. And your message to fans for the new season? Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait for for the season. Tell them um, why they have to watch this weekend. They have to watch this weekend because one, it's like the best game was going to be played in the WNBA on Sunday, <laughs> and we're going to have so many fans that we need all the support. And we owe them because it's our last year. <laughs> <laughs> Please get us another championship. That's all we ask for. <laughs> all right, just be prepared. We'll get this this year. And can you just talk a little bit about, I mean, obviously, big rivalry going on with Minnesota. How do you think that has created or helped create excitement around the league to get more viewers to tune in? I just think personally WNBA is growing a lot more. Every year you see our numbers increase, whether it's just in attendance um, from a couple teams where it's attendance throughout the whole league, and that's good for us. That's all we want. This year we actually have a lot more games on TV. Mm -hmm. uh, NBA TV has taken over. Uh, we actually have 49 games on NBA TV this year. We play on ESPN2 on Sunday. So it's good. Feels good to have our team, our games more televised, so that we can actually have more viewers and more people want to watch the WNBA.